Hi, I'm Sandy from the Home Depot Rental Center. When you need an easy to start, mid-sized or heavy duty chainsaw, we offer the Makita 16 and 20 inch gas powered chainsaws. If your landscaping needs call for cutting small trees or medium sized limbs and brush, the Makita 16 inch chainsaw is the right choice. If the job calls for a more heavy duty application such as clearing brush, chopping logs or cutting down medium to larger diameter trees, the Makita 20 inch chainsaw will get the job done. Now, before you get started, a few quick safety reminders. Always wear ear protection, chaps, safety glasses, and a hard hat with a shield. Your Home Depot rental associate will help provide you with these necessary items. Remember, ordinary sunglasses or eyeglasses are not safety glasses. It's also recommended that you wear a dust mask, thickly padded gloves, and steel-toed work boots. Always operate the chainsaw according to the safety rules in the instruction manual, and always use Makita chainsaws in compliance with all local, federal, and state regulations, including OSHA regulations. Now, let's talk about kickback. Kickback may occur when the nose or tip of the guide bar touches an object, or when the wood closes in and pinches the saw chain in the cut. Contact with the tip of the bar may cause a lightning fast reverse reaction, kicking the guide bar up and back toward the operator. Pinching the saw chain along the top of the guide bar may push the guide bar rapidly back toward the operator. Either of these reactions may cause you to lose control of the saw, which could result in serious personal injury. If the kickback is strong enough, the sudden acceleration of the guide bar combined with the inertia of the handguard will automatically activate the chain brake. Do not rely exclusively upon the safety devices built into your saw. Read the instruction manual for more detail on kickback. First, you'll want to adjust the chain tension. While wearing gloves, loosen the nuts on the sprocket guard. Raise the tip of the guide bar a little and turn the chain tensioning screw clockwise until the saw chain is up against the bottom edge of the guide bar. While keeping the tip of the guide bar raised, tighten the nuts on the sprocket guard again. Next, check to be sure bar and chain oil has been added to the chainsaw. Now, if you need to refuel your chainsaw during your cutting project, always make sure you fuel in a well-ventilated area or outdoors and away from flames or sparks. Always shut the engine off and allow it to cool before refueling. Tightly screw on the cap after refueling. To start the chainsaw, place it on firm ground in an open area. First, push the primer bulb until you see fuel in the bulb. Move the combination switch to the choke position and immediately down to the run position. Maintain good balance and secure footing. Place your right foot through the rear handle opening and firmly grasp the front handle with your left hand. Pull the starter handle smoothly and evenly. Do not over pull the starter handle. The purpose of the chain brake is to block the saw chain before starting it and to stop it immediately in case of an emergency. To engage the chain brake manually, simply push the handguard towards the tip of the saw with your left hand. To release the chain brake, pull the handguard toward you until you feel it catch. The brake is now released. As soon as the engine is running, grab the rear handle and press the throttle trigger. To stop the engine, push the combination switch into the stop position. Always start a cut with the chain running at full speed and the spike bar in contact with the wood. Hold the chainsaw with both hands and position it in such a way that your body is clear of the cutting attachment whenever the engine is running. When making several cuts, switch the chainsaw off between cuts. Do not cut with the tip of the bar as this presents a risk of kickback. In order to keep control of your saw, always maintain a firm foothold. Never work on a ladder in a tree or any other insecure support. Never use the saw above shoulder height. Do not use the chainsaw for cutting plastic, masonry, or other non-wood building materials. It is for cutting wood only. After your project is completed, make sure the unit is cleaned of debris. Use low pressure air or a brush to clean it. Remember, the chain is sharp, so use gloves when cleaning debris. 
When you're ready to return the saw to the rental center, be sure the tool is properly secured in your vehicle to prevent injury or damage during transit. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com slash rentals to learn more about the best tools for your next project.